Hello, in today's video, I'm going to explain all the known dojutsu in the Naruto verse. So get comfortable before we get started. Dojutsu are ocular techniques with different special abilities. They are techniques created by the eyes to see through Genjutsu, Taijutsu, and Ninjutsu. Let's start with the most famous dojutsu and its evolutions, the Sharingan. The Sharingan is the dojutsu Keke Genkai of the Uchiha clan that appears selectively among its members. It is regarded as one of the three great dojutsu, the others being the Byakugan and the Renegon. When a wielder of this Keke Genkai experiences a powerful emotional condition with regards to a person precious to them, their brain releases a special chakra that affects the optic nerves, transforming the eyes into the Sharingan. Let's start with the most basic Sharingan, the single Tomoe Sharingan. This version awakens when an Uchiha is a child. Depending on the talent and chakra of the user, the Sharingan may awaken sooner or later. The first Tomoe gives the user the instant ability to analyze things and see people's chakra flow. This Sharingan is very simple, but allows you to copy Jutsu and imitate movements, even if they have a quick perception. This Sharingan cannot use Genjutsu with the exception of Sarada Uchiha, who is shown to create a Genjutsu with a single Tomoe. Apparently, the single Tomoe Sharingan cannot be controlled and comes out only in extreme moments, and until you reach the two Tomoe, it cannot be activated at will. Let's continue with the two Tomoe Sharingan. This version awakens with the maturation of the use of the single Tomoe. But for example, Itachi and Obito directly woke up the two Tomoe due to an extreme situation. This version is exactly the same as the previous one except the user received a slightly sharper vision, allowing him to see enemy movements earlier. This Sharingan can predict the movement of a person to copy the techniques and his physical power also increases, as well as the mastery of ninjutsu and genjutsu. The more he trains and uses the Sharingan, it improves and develops. The third level is the Three Tomoe Sharingan. This is awakened with an even greater use of the Sharingan. This is the version that most of the members of the Uchiha clan who have trained have. This dojutsu improves vision to the maximum by allowing you to see the enemy movements long before they are made. It also provides the user with access to basic genjutsu. The skills of the Sharingan with genjutsu are so strong that they are able to counter the genjutsu of other people just by having eye contact with the enemy. To reach this level, the Uchiha must be very used to its use, and the more you train your skills, become more powerful. A user who has just awakened the Three Tomoe Sharingan is not the same as a veteran, although there comes a time when it cannot be improved any further. The fourth level is the Mangaku Sharingan, which surpasses the Three Tomoe Sharingan. This Sharingan is obtained by witnessing the death of a loved one. This Dojutsu is one of the most advanced levels of the Sharingan, only surpassed by the Eternal Mangaku. And unlike the normal Sharingan, it has a completely different design, and it varies from one user to another. When an Uchiha reaches this level, he can use very broken techniques such as a Madarasu, Tsukuyomi, Susano, Kunamatsukami, Kamui. This Keke Genkai is so powerful that it has consequences. The more it is used, the eyes become weaker, until the user is completely blind. Some people have managed to fix this problem thanks to the Eternal Mangeku Sharingan. We continue with the fifth level, Eternal Mangeku Sharingan. This dojutsu is obtained by removing the Mangeku Sharingan from another Uchiha and implanting it. That is, both Mangeku merged. The possessor of the Eternal Mangeku Sharingan can use all the techniques of the Mangeku without losing vision. It is a perfect Sharingan. By obtaining it, the user enhances all his previous techniques of the Mangeku Sharingan, being able, for example, to merge the Susanoo with the Amaterasu. We continue with another of the three great dojutsu, the Byakugan. This dojutsu Keke Genkai of the Hyuga clan, which is manifested from birth in all members of the clan, although there are many differences and exceptions according to the user, the Byakugan manifests itself in two phases, one active and the other passive. In the passive phase, the Byakugan is deactivated, that is, their eyes are normal with the color white or light lavender in the anime. But when users activate the Byakugan, the pupils become more distinct and the increased blood flow to their eyes causes the veins near their temples to bulge. To be able to activate the Byakugan, a hard training must be carried out. Although, the Byakugan can be activated automatically if the user is under stressful circumstances, even if they haven't learned how to activate it on their own. The skills of the Byakugan is to have a near 360 degree field of vision around themselves, except for a small blind spot at the back of the neck. Although, this blind spot can be eliminated by emitting chakra right in that area. The Byakugan's vision allows users to see through walls, peer underground, and the ability to see the chakra pathway system that is even superior to that of the Sharingan. The Hyuga have devised the Gentle Fist style of combat to specifically take advantage of that ability, wherein they strike an opponent's Tenken Seto to either seal or forcibly open them, thus giving the user complete control over their opponent's chakra. Also thanks to the Byakugan, users have a large field of vision, which can be improved with training being able to see accurately more than a kilometer away. 
It must be said that not all Byakugan users are the same. Some have typical characteristics. For example, Himawari Uzumaki is a descendant of the Hyuga clan through her mother, but ordinarily has the same blue eyes as her father. Her eyes do become featureless white only when her Byakugan is in use. Momoshiki Atsutsuki's Byakugan usually appears identical to any other Byakugan, but takes on a golden color after he absorbs King Shiki's power. On the other hand, Irashiki's Byakugan also takes on a golden color after consuming the chakra he collected along with his own eyes. But when an Atsutsuki is implanted with the Byakugan of a Hyuga, this combination of the two clans' chakra transforms the Byakugan into a Tenseigon. The Tenseigon takes several days to complete. When it is fully achieved, the ordinary featureless white Byakugan gains blue pupils, filled with what resembles overlapping white flower patterns. And the user gains several new skills, such as Tenseigon Chakra Mode and Truth Seeking Orbs. The Tenseigon can lose its power and revert back to a Byakugan if the user is weakened enough in battle. The last of the three great dojutsu is the Renegon. It is an extremely rare dojutsu and much more powerful than the Sharingan and the Byakugan. The Renegon manifested for the first time as a Keke Mora, something much more advanced than a simple Keke Genkai, inherited by Hagoromo Atsutsuki being an inferior variety of the Rene Sharingan. We continue on with the aforementioned Rene Sharingan, the predecessor of the Renegon and the Sharingan. The Rene Sharingan has a greater power than any eternal Mangeku Sharingan or Renegon. Being able to be used to project the infinite Tsukuyome and manipulate the roots of the tree god to unite the trapped people. By possessing both the power of the Sharingan and the Renegon, it has both abilities. We continue on with the other dojutsu that we have seen during the series, such as the Kira Kuke. It is a dojutsu similar to the Byakugan, it can see through solid objects and create illusions with the circulatory systems of the chakra. This dojutsu is able to elude the Byakugan, but it is known to be relatively inferior to the Byakugan. The Omi no Me, or called the Eye of the Devil, is an exclusive dojutsu that appears in the royalty of the country of the devil. Through this dojutsu, you can see the future with total clarity and predict actions that are about to happen. The Jogon is a unique dojutsu, which is only known by the Atsutsuki clan, whose members affirm that it is problematic and that it is a strong power inherited by their clan, and that it only detects negative or positive vibrations in the environment. This is the only thing known of it by now. We continue on with the Ketsuo Yugon, or literally, Eye of the Blood Dragon. It is a dojutsu that appears in some members of the Shinoi clan. This dojutsu controls the user's blood, and its power is comparable to the three great dojutsu. But as it does not evolve, it remains below from them. Yome's dojutsu is a dojutsu that can dilate the pupils and track enemies through the reflection of small drops of water. Yome can also use this dojutsu to increase his evasion ability during combat. His power level is not very great. Inferior to a Byakugan, it would be similar to having a Sharingan with one Tomoe. Finally, we have Ishiki's Dojutsu. Ishiki Atsutsuki has a Dojutsu that can reduce the size of matter to a microscopic level and enlarge it again. Likewise, it allows you to store shrunken objects in a dimension where time does not pass and release them at will. The Dojutsu allows Ishiki to see his life expectancy, which is manifested in the form of a flaming shadow. And that's it for today's video. If you liked it, you can watch this video about the Atsutsuki clan, or you can watch this other video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that post notification bell to be notified every time we upload. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.